So this uh, show is about Ruth Eisman Shear, who in the 60s uh, was the first woman on the FBI's top 10 most wanted list for kidnapping and burying a woman alive. It's our, it's our take into horror theater, mm -hmm. and we get to experiment in some really, really fun ways. Yeah, in a true crime sort of way. Um, and it's all about Ruth's life and her memories and dreams. And she was a marine biologist, so we get to do a lot of stuff with the ocean and sort of the feeling of entrapment that you can get from being underwater, but also under the ground. And societal pressures. Oh, themes, 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 themes. <laughs>see a lot of different styles here in Saskatoon very often and horror theater is something that only has been done a couple times especially original horror theater and horror theater that's going to put women in the driver's seat so mm -hmm. I'm really excited to play in that realm and yeah. give and creep the pants out of Saskatoon and to piggyback on that a lot of times anytime that I've seen true horror they try to make a jump scare so for that sometimes people think you need a larger uh, a larger budget to kind of accommodate that, but we work primarily with body horror and psychological terror, so that is something that you can do just with music, simple set, and physical presence. We also have another awesome dream team like we did with Scum, so Jensine Trodson is our costume designer and stage manager, as well as Amberlynn is joining us again with lighting and sets, and so we've got a really small team to help us create in a really collaborative way, take apart the script and put it back together, devise stuff on our feet, devise stuff with set, with lighting, with sound, that's going to be really exciting. When we started with the script, uh, we did a lot of research into Ruth and her life, but unlike with the Scum Manifesto, there isn't a lot that's been written about Ruth, mm -hmm. and there weren't, wasn't a lot for us to draw on, so we had to take a lot of artistic liberties and fill in a lot of gaps yeah. and create this character from scratch, um, which we also had to do with Scum, but this was a lot more... Uh, telling a story from a very personal place. Mm -hmm. I'm also really excited to look at horror through a feminist lens. So our company um, is a queer and feminist company. And so looking at horror through that lens is really interesting because it can be a very male dominant medium but and genre, but most horror viewers and fans are women. I think Live 5 is doing a great job in lifting up new voices and so mm. doing original work is really cool and doing something that wouldn't be on any other stage is, I'm so grateful we're here.